Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today. I have a new set of pedals that I'm gonna unbox and talk about a little bit. These were sent to me by Shepherd Cycles, who is the Australian distributor for Time and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So these landed uh, at La Velocita HQ for review. It is not a paid review and they ended up landing with me because they thought, hey, we'll give, it, give them to James. Let him test them and see what he thinks. So currently I'm using Shimano 105 carbon pedals. They're very good. They're pretty good value. They're quite light and they're just really easy to live with. I've tried quite a lot of pedals as well. I've used Look, I've used Speed Play. Uh, and oh, I even, I tried, I have a set of Campagnolo pedals that came on a bike, like a steel Decordi from the mid nineties. So I've tried quite a few of them and you know, Shimano for me is just, an easy, easy choice to make. They're easy to live with. I've got everything sh set up for Shimano at the moment. So this is going to be a bit of a change, uh, chucking on a new pedal system. Alrighty, so let's unbox these suckers. Okay, so here they are. And the first thing I want to point out is that it is nice that these pedals, they come in this lovely metal tin. You buy Shimano stuff and it usually tends to come in kind of a crappy cardboard box. So good work time. So cracking on open, we have a small instructions manual. Uh, now this is basically just the indicators that tell you what sort of adjustments that you can have. You can have float adjustment, you can sort of have a, a range of different angles. Also, don't jam a screwdriver into it. Gotcha. Thanks for that time. Wasn't going to do it, but you know, thanks. Here are the actual pedals themselves. Pretty mad looking things, aren't they? Just pull it out. And underneath... Cleats. Now, one of the really big selling points of these time pedals is that they are very, very light. So this is the Espresso 10. And now these are claimed by time to have a weight per pedal of about 98 grams. So I've got my super fancy kitchen scales here. Let's see how they go on there. 100. We'll, yeah, we'll give them that. Like they could be, it could be the scales are off, you know, individual variations. Not bad. Okay, so I've just whipped off one of my Shimano 105 pedals. So let's chuck this on. The times are more expensive, but they're, you know, sort of in the same ballpark of cost. They're probably a bit closer to an Ultegra pedal, but let's just compare it to the 105 carbon as far as weight goes. So that's 136. Sorry, 138. So you're looking at about an extra 76 grams for the set. So the reason that the time prep pedals have come out at a very low weight is that they don't run on a spring system. They actually have this carbon blade here. If you can see that there. So you drop the cleat in, push it in that way and stomp on the back and you have a carbon blade that flexes. Compare that to the 105. You've got sort of a spring loaded system in here, which does effectively the same thing, but it's a bit heavier. So that's, that's kind of the difference in how the pedals operate. You've got a spring system versus a carbon blade system. Alrighty, and now a quick look at the cleat. It's actually quite large and quite complicated. So this is the bottom. This is the bit that sort of clicks into the pedal itself. That's the bit that sticks onto your shoe. So it's fairly large and it's quite interestingly shaped. It's obviously got these protectors here that lift you off the ground so you're not standing on the engagement part of the cleat. Let's have a look compared to the Shimano one. I really like Shimano cleats. It's one of the reasons I like Shimano pedals is that these plastic protectors mean that you can actually walk around in these quite easily without going ass up all the time. This is, seems like a sort of just a hard plastic, fairly smooth. Might be a little bit of a risk of going ass up, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, time to check these suckers on the bike. And pretty standard, just like Shimano, 8mm Allen key is all you need. Let's do it. So one thing I've noticed already is that they have a very different weighting to the Shimano pedals. And I'll show you what I mean. They sort of don't really have a lot of back weight to them. They will drop a little bit, but see that? Let's compare that to the Shimano ones on the other side. So these always drop back like that because they're much heavier in the back. So that'll be something to keep in mind for clipping in. Ah, it's gonna be interesting to see how these go. All right, I'm just uh, just gonna about to fit the cleats, but before I think I'll just refer to this very small compact instruction manual. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, right, look at this thing. Oh God, where is, where is the English? Yeah. Uh, guarantee, French. Oh, here we go. 
okay, the shaft is in the L. Oh, okay. Okay, this isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Probably should have read this before I did the video. I oh, know, it's not so bad. It's alright. There's a lot of different tuning options, so that's why the uh, instructions are so complicated. Alright, cool. Let's do it. Alrighty, so I got one cleat fitted. Not too hard, it's just the instructions had heaps of stuff about all the micro adjusting you can do, which I'll go back and have a look at later. Here's a side by side from the Shimano to the Time. So you can see it's a very, very different shaped cleat. Uh, yeah, I'll fit the other ones later, but I might as well just clip in. I'll just do a quick video of the uh, engagement for you. Alrighty, so here they are getting clipped into. Ugh. And no, I could not be bothered putting socks on for this. Oh, okay. Only a very small click to get in. A uh, fair bit of float on them at the moment, so I might tighten that up. That's probably a bit much for me. I don't like my feet sliding around. But have a listen to this. Chunky and fairly light. So that's the flex of the carbon blade you can hear there. Alright, so that is the unboxing and a quick look at the Time Expresso 10 pedal and a short comparison and discussion about Shimano pedals. Uh, I did notice actually I've got sort of fake wooden floors and yeah, it's pretty slippery. It's kind of sliding around a bit there. Yeah, now it is just writing. I'll do a follow-up video when I've had some time to get used to them and use them for a while. There'll also be eventually a review on myvelocheater.cc. Now, if you are a Time Expresso user, let me know what they're like. Like just your reflections or whatever, drop a comment down below. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.